What's up guys, welcome to another video and it is that time of the year again when you start wondering whether or not you should take summer classes. So here I'm gonna give you my recommendations and my perspective on why I think that you should. And we need to understand why you should take summer classes. So, and honestly, this is something that I wish I would have known when I was earlier in my engineering journey as a student, because who knows what kind of doors would have opened at that time when if my GPA had been a little higher coming up in the next fall. So of course, as you can already predict what I'm about to say, the answer to the question and the title of this video is that yes, you should take summer classes, but we need to understand why. And the first reason to, to take in summer classes is of course because it lightens up the workload in the future semesters. If you take, let's say, six or nine credits during the summer, then it's six or nine credits, fewer credits that you need to take in the future semesters we can which can give you a bit more time to spend in other classes. That's the pretty obvious one. Now, the second and main benefit of taking summer classes, in my personal opinion, is that it can help you increase your GPA, assuming that you actually do well in those classes. And this is huge, in my personal opinion, because if you have a 2.95 GPA, for example, and you want to have just above a three, if you actually do really well in the classes during the summer, and let's say that you get all A's, then your 2.95 GPA can turn into a 3.2 or a 3.1, whatever it is. But the point here, guys, is that when you go above a 3.0, then more doors open to opportunities. Perhaps at that point, you can be eligible to undergraduate research opportunities. You can also be eligible for internships or co-ops that you want to apply in the fall semester. Because if you think about it, if you do not take any summer classes and you have a 2.95 GPA and you're not el eligible, quote unquote, to apply for positions that require, require you to have a 3.0 and above until next spring when your fall GPA actually kicks in. So it basically gives you a, bit, a few more months or, a few sem or one more semester advantage to actually find something that you are looking for when it comes to experience. Now, the other thing that I want to mention here is that if you don't have anything else going on in the summer, if you don't have a job, if you don't have an internship or a co-op, like nothing, I mean, what else are you going to be doing? So think about that for a second. And that's what those, those are the situations when I will personally take summer classes. Now, also, if you are on the other side of the spectrum, if you are someone that already has an opportunity, already have an internship or job, whatever, you're already getting experience during the summer then at that point, to be honest with you, I would just skip over the summer classes and I would just focus on the experience that I'm getting in industry, whatever company it is that I'm working on. Now, if you are someone that is considering taking summer classes and you say, you know what, I'm gonna take summer classes. Here's the one thing that I want you to consider and consider taking these classes at a community college. All right, so I forgot to add this during the video, but I did want to mention that if you are deciding to take classes at a community college, do check with your four-year university if those community, community college credits will, number one, transfer to your university, and number two, they will affect your GPA. Because many times, if you take classes at a community college, they really don't affect your GPA. You just get a pass or a fail, but they don't end up helping your GPA, which would defeat the purpose if the only reason you are taking summer classes is obviously to increase your GPA. So make sure you check that. And if you're at a community college and you're staying there in the future, then it doesn't matter. So that's all I wanted to add. Let's keep going with the video. In, in a nutshell, when you take a summer, when you take classes in a community college, obviously number one, they're cheaper. Also, you don't have to be in university. You know, let's say if you are away from home and you're going to college, then you can take classes in your local community college, still live at home, uh, or if, if that's your case, and then transfer those classes to your university. So there you go, guys. That's the insight that I wanted to share with you. I think that you definitely should consider summer classes to help you decrease the workload in the future when it comes to your major. Also, it helps you increase your GPA, which to me is a huge one. And it's also going to help you, depending on how well you do in those classes, it's gonna help you be eligible to more positions in the future, more opportunities. And then uh, also, if you are taking summer classes, then consider taking them at a community college so that way you can save money. All right, so but make sure that those classes will transfer to your university. All right, guys, so that's all I have to share in this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.